guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a first impressions on a highlight that I've been dying to try. I actually purchased these when they first came out and they've been sitting on my windowsill just waiting for me to try them out and finally I get a chance to actually put them on because they are two different shades. So every time I wanted to film this, I just felt like I didn't want to walk outside with two different color highlighters on. So what I'm talking about are these Pat McGrath Skin Fetish 003. So the Pat McGrath highlights, these were super duper hyped when they came out. Everybody was jumping on them and like I said, there's two colors. There's Nude, which is this one, the silver packaging, and then there's Golden, which is the golden highlight, obviously. What throws me off is that the Nude one is actually like a pink-ish kind of highlight when you put it on. So I'm excited to try these out. While I was doing my makeup, I was like, hmm, I probably should have not done a bright lip and such a summery look because I'm going to be trying on a pink highlight and a gold highlight but the point is not for the highlight to match the point is to try these out and let you guys know if this is worth $72 each yes I said it $72 each you do get three products or some say like four because one is like a double ended product you get a brush you get a balm slash stick and you get a highlight and I know a lot of people are so frustrated with the sequin situation I personally love the sequins so this is how they come they come in these like bags I ordered these online they are sold out right now online I remember seeing them in Times Square it was such a pretty stand but they are sold out online but if you are into like makeup and collecting makeup and pretty shiny things I feel like these sequins are pretty useful you can use them for a lot of different things you can use them to put inside of your brush jar instead of like the little filler or I don't know there's just so many uses for these little sequins I don't think it was wasteful but that's just me. I'm going to put them to use. Let's go ahead and open these up and start playing with them. So I'm going to be testing this one out first. This is the gold one. It says this is a limited release. If you didn't know, Pat McGrath is a famous makeup artist. She is just so amazing. Just Google her name. If you don't know about her, you definitely need to know about her. She just changed the game in so many ways and she's just really influential. Read her story. Look at her work. I mean, she's super duper famous in the not only makeup community, but like in the fashion community because she does a lot of editorial work and a lot of work that you've seen in magazines is Pat McGrath. So super excited to be testing something out that is made and created by a makeup artist. I feel like makeup artists really know what's going on. They know about trends. They know about different skin types and skin tones and their everyday touching faces and seeing what's missing in the makeup industry. So salute to all of my artists that are creating brands. That is so powerful and just so amazing. So let's get into it. So first you get this guy, double-ended golden shiny stick and one side is a highlighter and one side is a balm so the balm is literally that a balm if you know about editorial makeup if you know about like high fashion makeup you know that they use that glossy lid look and just a lot of balms are used in that kind of makeup I know here on YouTube you don't really see much about a balm but as you can see it does give you a pretty shiny look and you can use this on its own if you just want a really simple like dewy look I wouldn't go heavy-handed with the balm if you have oily skin because it's gonna give you that dew and that super balmy glossy look but if you're really simple and you just want to throw on some mascara and you have really dry skin I think you can definitely incorporate this balm it doesn't have to be just editorial makeup and I mean you can use this on your eyelids you can use it on your face you can use this pretty much anywhere and it's just a really pretty shiny clear balm and then on the other side you get the highlighter so this is the cream version of the highlighter and I'm gonna go ahead and just swipe this right next to it and you can use this again on its own you can use this in combination with the balm or you can use it with the powder so I plan on using the balm and then the highlighter stick and then the powder on top just to give me maximum results because you can use these all on their own we could also just layer them up you can use two together or you can do all three and then you get this brush which obviously is meant to be used with the highlights it's sort of a goat hair slash duo fiber brush you typically don't see white haired duo fiber brushes but it's nice it has a short handle and some people were complaining about the packaging and how it just has like a sticker on it for me packaging means something but if the product is really good 
I can look past the packaging. If what's inside is amazing, packaging just doesn't matter to me. I mean, yes, the price is really hefty, and yes, this looks like an e.l.f. highlighter, but the product looks good, but it sucks inside. I'm not going to keep it just because it has pretty packaging. But if the product has so-so packaging, but the product is so unique and so innovative and so amazing, you best believe I'm going to use it. You get... 0.14 ounces and it says it's made in Italy and Pat McGrath Cosmetics LLC New York New York this is so gold that it almost looks green I mean it is super duper reflective shiny and I'm just so excited to use it so let's get it on the face I'm gonna go ahead and apply the balm first that natural shine that you see on my face is just from my setting spray I use Mac fix plus which gives me a little bit of like a dewy kind of look but I don't have any highlighter on so I'm gonna go ahead and apply the balm and I'm just gonna apply it straight from the tube so that's what the balm looks like and I'm just going to blend that with my finger this is just giving me like a really nice glossy look I lowered my brightness so you guys can actually see what it looks like and I don't know I'm not really a fan of this on its own it just kind of looks like I put a little bit of Vaseline on my face which is actually a trick that some makeup artists do so I'm gonna go ahead and apply the highlight side because I'm not liking how that's looking on top of the powder that I have some cream products can be used on top of powders so I did powder my face to set it and I guess I probably shouldn't have because this is just actually removing like the powder and it's just kind of looking a little cakey so I'm hoping that this powder one will kind of just diminish that kind of weird separation so let's just go ahead and apply this I'm gonna use the brush that it comes with although some people really don't like this brush I feel like if it's designed for it let's go ahead and use it so let's do this I'm just gonna kind of blend that in with my beauty blender because it is just kind of sitting on top so I always kind of press my beauty blender on top of my highlight to blend it in a little more I'm gonna take the Wayne Goss fan brush and I'm just gonna apply it with that just to see if I get any more pigment out of this I definitely like a fan brush instead of that duo fiber brush this just made the highlight look a little bit soft and not as cakey or patchy and I really like how it looks with the brush. I would skip on the cream products on me personally because I do have dry skin and I do like to set my face before applying anything else like bronzer, blush, and highlight and all of that so I would skip on that. This is what the nude side looks like and it is super duper pink. I feel like they just kind of took over my cheeks right now. I almost want to apply blush because my bronzer is just looking like super muddy because there's just highlight and then bronzer like there's no transition it just completely took over my cheeks so this is golden and then this is nude the nude in person is just so pink right now it is looking extremely extremely pink with red and on camera it's looking a little bit more silver but in person it's just straight up like pink highlight I actually own a highlight that does look like this artist couture supernova and I think Broadway two highlights that have that pinky kind of sheen so here's a close-up of golden and it is super duper reflective don't get me wrong but in person is just like a slap of yellow gold and then this one is the pink one the nude one these are the artist couture highlighters this first one is supernova this one's broadway this one is conceited and then you have illuminati i feel like if you're looking for uniquely colored and very high reflective shiny pigmented glitters I think these are just phenomenal and they look really really silky on the skin whereas these right now are just looking really patchy and I'm telling you my bronzer like when I first started this video was not looking this patchy and I just feel like it's just it's just not if I'm gonna recommend one I'm gonna recommend this one the golden here's what it looks like in a little bit of a lower light it's a little patchy and I think it's because I layered all three products and because I have dry skin I just think it's a little too yellow for me personally. I would probably only use the golden and I would only use the powder. Maybe the balm on its own but probably just the powder on its own because I feel like the yellow golden kind of color is a little more flattering on me than this pink one is. I don't know if it's just because I have a tan but I don't know for $72 I just I'm not 
extremely satisfied with them and that kind of makes me sad but don't get me wrong this golden one looks beautiful on camera I just think in person it's just a little bit too much I have to like turn my head in order to see the beauty of the gold from the front it just looks very awkward perhaps if I had applied some blush after but I don't want to apply blush because I feel like some people don't even like to wear blush they just want to wear highlight and bronzer and so I don't want to just keep on adding other things to make this work I was reading some reviews and some people really really love them on their skin tone so perhaps it's just very personal if you have the money to splurge and you're willing to experiment with some unique products I think these would be worth it I just see myself using the golden one and I only see myself really realistically using the powder the sticks I'd probably put somewhere and forget that I have them just being honest so $72 each I know expensive and let me know what you guys think this is again the golden and then this is the nude which I feel like on camera it's not doing it justice because in person it's so pink. I'll insert some pictures so you guys can see. Change maybe if I experiment with them a little more but first impressions I'm just okay with them you know I like them I think they're different I think they're uniquely packaged and the concept of getting more than one product in a kit is kind of cool if you don't have a lot of brushes it's cool that you get a brush and a balm and a stick and a highlight but I'm just the type of person that likes powder highlights it's just what I gravitate towards and I'm kind of upset that the balm didn't really work on top of my powder you are getting a lot of products for $72 I feel like product wise it's worth the money because you get a lot but I don't know if I can justify the $72 because I don't think I would actually use these and I think I'd forget that I even have them. So that's my first impression on these. I'm not wowed, but I do like them and they are creative and unique. On my lips, I have ColourPop Click and my dress is from Forever 21. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.